So in my last video, I talked about having the house finally finished painting and we were um, going to move on to the garage and um, so we did that and we we did paint the garage got that it's a, like a separate garage but um, I had a request about where's the chicken <laughs> what happened to the chicken well I'm, I'm just going to show you the chicken I haven't painted the chicken yet but it is back um, standing up and we got most of the, well he's still missing his I guess his waddle but um, his feathers are back up so I do need to paint the chicken so um, I got the sun glaring in my eyes so here's the the big the root or the cho the rooster so there he is standing back up. Now it's my job to get it painted. I'm going to spray paint him in different colors. Anyway, there he is. <laughs> so he still needs some work. So we're going to do that. So now I'm going to go into the turn around and show you the house and how beautiful it looks now with the green roof and it's all painted. You can see the house in the background there. Happy girl. So here is the back garage. You can see as two garage doors. And this is the back side of the house. We are complete. We're so happy. So the sun's actually out today, which is <laughs> really nice. I didn't expect that. Today we're going to go do some uh, goat wrangling. Not really, <laughs> not really goat wrangling, but um, I got to do some uh, goat maintenance. The goats are due for their vaccination so we're gonna do some CDT that's the overeating disease and their tetanus uh, that they get I usually do it every six months so it's something that we like to give our goaties we warm them and we give them their, their injection it's an injection under the skin, sub Q. So they don't like it. They never like to get up on the stanchion. Usually they see me with a leash and it's like, look out, mom's gonna catch us and give us something that we don't like. So I'll trim their hooves and check them for lice and do that kind of stuff. So it's barn work today, so we'll go catch some goats. So right now it's about 65 degrees. And then the sun's out, so it should warm up, which is pretty cool. So, and while I'm out there, I have some peppermint oil mixed with water. And it's just kind of a little trick that we use to keep the rats out of the barn. They hear me coming. Hi girls! Hi puppies! What's Pa doing out here? We say hi? Hi baby girls! <laughs> you want out of your pen? You do! Hi, Moki. She's out once, I had to put her back on. Uh-oh. Goaties are fighting. Can't have that. I mixed you up some fresh peppermint. 
Are you moving? Oh, you tore down the. Yeah. Nice. Down. Tore down his fence. This pallet fence. I'm going. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. I'm going to put one pallet out down there at the end, and then I'm going to put the uh, hog paneling here and here. Okay. The goats will be able to eat through the hog paneling. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put half of this hay on this side of that, and half on the other side, and I'll leave a big enough space where they can't reach through. Ah. The but goats say, "Oh yeah, watch me." <laughs> I figure. <laughs> we'll figure out a way to get through the there. The further away <laughs> I have it from the back, the yeah. better. Because I think the back is where they come in and get under there. He's referring to those rotten rats. They get in the barn, they like to sneak under the hay and make their nests. So <clears throat> we're trying to keep them out of the barn this year. We don't want to keep moving the hay. We haven't had a problem with it. No. For the last couple of years. So this is Alice. Alice is, how old are you Alice? She has got like 20 kids on the ground. She's our longtime resident. She actually has a video on YouTube. Alice and her triplets. She's been here for a long time. She's, she's one of our herd queens. She's gonna, she's already had her vaccinations. She's pretty old. You see, when they start to get older, their hooves eventually, even though she's been well maintained, they, their hooves start to get a little bit of, <laughs> you don't want me touching your hooves, um, you know, start to turn just a little bit. But she's, she's in very good condition though. She's a, she's a very healthy goat. But she's gonna get her hooves trimmed. So, aren't you? Aren't you, girl? She's a toughie. She's probably, she's probably 12, 12 years old. She might be a little bit older than that. She's been around here a long time. Had her since she, she was born here, so. If you were born here, Alice, that makes her 10. 10 years old. I was mistaken. Because we've owned this farm for 10 years, so she was born right when we bought it. So it makes her a little over 10 years old. That thing works pretty nice to take it off to clean it, huh? Yeah. It's not for you. Do <laughs> what you got for me, Pa. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take care of her hooves. What do I do with my trimmers? You wanna be a demo? Wanna be a demo? Good girl. Trim up those hoobies. Oh, you got dirty hoobies. I know, Ma. I've been running in the muck. You stinky. fingernails every well I don't trim my fingernails every six weeks but pygmy goats like their hooves trimmed about every six weeks keep them nice and trimmed so they don't get like little rocks cut caught up in the tips
keeps them walking very flat when they walk. They can walk flat and their hooves don't, they don't go lame. When you trim, when you trim them, you want both, because they have two hooves, you want them to be very level. Did you let Cedric finish pen? No, he just went in there. He's <laughs> mad at me. <laughs> and if you don't trim them every six weeks, one of their, just like your fingernail, that nail will grow and kind of go over onto their, under their foot. And then they start to walk on that and it becomes, you know, kind of like a, a sh kind of like a shield over their foot. And then it be they be start to, that's why they call it lame. We don't want to do that. We want to walk flat, don't we, girl? Can I sit next to you? Yes, can I sit next to you? Only if you itch my belly, Mama. Ooh, that feels good, huh? Yeah. Burk. Oh, let me see. I get up on top of the goat so I can hold the goat between my legs here. And some people sit beside them and lift their leg up at me. It's easier for me. Get in and clean out their hood. That right, Alice? Okay. Yep. And, uh, the faster you go, the better. She has real long dew claws. If you can trim them. That brown blood, baby. I'm sorry, honey. That's my fault. Yeah, I'm sorry. A little scratch. That feel better. far because you can cut right into their soft part of their hoof and I'm sorry sit still sweetie sit still I don't want to if you cut into that part it'll make them bleed they have you can see where you just want to cut off the edge like the edge of your fingernail you got tough hooks, girl. Oh, she's going to fight me. I'm going to make sure that she's flat footed. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I want to make sure you're nice and flat. You're good, honey. You're all right. Okay. She's had her vaccinations. We're going to give her some selenium and vitamin E. Whew, it is kind of warm outside, huh? Let's open this window a little bit more. So we've had these <laughs> crazy barn birds all summer. And they're gone now, thank goodness. But one of the things they leave behind, which is one of their trademarks for us, beginning of fall, is lice. Because lice needs a host. So they keep it all summer, but when they leave, it has to go somewhere, so they give it to my goats. 
Isn't that nice of them? So I have to treat all the goats for lice. And so that's what we're going to do too. That's the other thing we're going to do. We give them their CDT. We treat them with Ivermectin Plus. Give them their selenium once a month. And the other thing you do is douse them with lice powder. Good girl. Yeah, you are such a good girl. So, whether they need it or not, my good girl, Alice here, is going to get her lice powder. Where's my brush? I had it here. Miss Alice, so lice powder. Take care of those bird bugs. And wherever I put my brush, not this one. I had it in my hand. Oh, Robin. What do you do with your stuff? Miss Alice, you need that brushed in, girl. Huh? I guess we'll use this one. I'll brush that in real good. This is your favorite part, huh, Alice? Yeah. Now don't go shake it off. You need this. Mm hmm. Good girl. Yeah. And that's it, Miss Alice. You could be eating more minerals out there. Your tail's a little scruffy. Huh? You're looking good. You want to be done? You want to be done? Mm, you're such a good girl. Thank you for being a good role model. You want to be done? I think you're out. You're free. Say goodbye. So I've made a list of who I've done so far, and you see on my board here. So I do the CDT, the Ivermectin Plus, the Vitamin E with Selenium. I've done Little Bull and Lita and their mommy, Jim, Mocha, Frappy Coca, Maggie, Cedric, Alice, Bull Latte, and Isis. So I'm going to take a break, and I've run out of... Um, the the uh, lice powder that I've been putting on them. This stuff here. Let me see it. I put the I've been putting this on all of them as an extra precaution because I don't think the Ivermectin Plus is working to my satisfaction or the goat's satisfaction <laughs> so we are going to go to down to the co-op in town and pick up some more and i'm going to continue and get the rest of the goats done today because i don't know about you but if i had those things on me i would be just going <laughs> That, that is just not something I want on my body. So, I'll get the rest of the goats done today. I don't know why, but every single year when those birds leave our barn, um, our goats get lice. So, we're contributing those barn birds um, to the lice problem. And yeah, we can manage the lice and we can get rid of the lice, but how do you get rid of those barn birds? Because this barns are the only structure that these birds habitate in. They, they, uh, they don't live anywhere else, but they sure make a mess in our barn. 
And we have a lot of nests, I can see. And they just crap all over everything, I can tell you. And they do eat, they do have benefit factor, I mean, beneficial factors. They have, they eat the flies that come into the barn and they eat mosquitoes and comet likes to chase them out of the barn. So they are a favorite to our, our border collie. I mean, he loves them. And they're here for quite a while. And they do eat all the flies. So we don't have a fly problem in the summer. But at the end of the summer, look at what we're stuck with. I mean, and you also have to watch where you put your water buckets. Because they'll fly and there's occasional you end up with a splat on your head. I've had it in my eyeball. I've had it on my shoulder. So, I don't know. And seeing the baby birds is cute. It, I don't know if we're, it's worth it. I just, I have my doubts. So anyway, off to the co-op.